Two coffee grinds and beans really work to help clear your nose when you're trying different fragrances? Find out coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose and today I'm going to talk about one of the most commonly held, uh, I guess, ideas or concepts in fragrance and perfumery that you see this everywhere. And what am I talking about? Coffee beans, coffee rinds, whatever you want to talk about. These are our coffee beans. Mm, smells delicious. If you like coffee, you can see it there. So. In perfumery, you go to any department store, it could be Macy's, it could be Nordstrom's, it could be boutiques. You'll often see something like this, a jar of coffee beans. This is Blue Mountain coffee beans because Maurice, one of the co-owners here, is from Jamaica originally, so some of the best coffee in the world. And anyway, so he's got this here, but he'll even tell you, if you come in here, this is here for decoration only. And I hate to burst the bubble for a lot of you out there who, every time you go trying out new fragrances and new perfumes, you go over, usually they're kept in like a little glass jar, coffee beans, you smell them, you think you're refreshing your nose. You really are not refreshing your nose. Hate to break this to you, but scientifically, biologically, it does absolutely nothing. Now, there may be a placebo effect. If you're in your mind, you actually believe it, like, like any placebo, sometimes, that may uh, work, but biologically, it's not doing anything. It does not cleanse, cleanse the palate. It does not refresh the molecules, the, sens uh, the sensory receptors in your nose, okay? So you're still gonna have lingering fragrance notes, molecules from what you smelled before, before you try the new one. So what is the best way? I'll tell you right now, there's a few best ways to do this. Uh, let me give you the easiest way. Easiest way, I think number one is to literally walk right out the store like this. So you walk out and hopefully you guys can still hear my microphone, but you go out and I really hope you guys can still hear my microphone. What you do is you go out and you stand out for about 30 seconds like this and you take deep breaths, take deep breaths for about 30 seconds. Then you go back in. Okay. I don't know if you could see me when I was out there, but I was outside taking deep, I think you could see me going. 30 seconds, come back in. So if you're in a big department store, of course you're not necessarily gonna be able to walk outside the door. Just walk into another uh, department or another section, take some deep breaths, get out of the perfume section, clear your nose, you'll be fine. That's the number one, I'd say best way. Number two is literally what everyone has, your own skin. So what you do, again, walk away, from where the perfume is, either you go outside or go to a different department, wherever you're at, and literally go to a clean portion of your skin. Not one you've already sprayed on, but a clean, I am clean right here, and take three deep breaths. The smell of your own skin helps regenerate the receptors in your nose and will clear it, and that is a great, excellent way to keep going on and smelling more perfumes because it can get overwhelming. I'm in here all the time. You know, we, you can train your nose also, by the way. Someone like myself, Maurice, who obviously owns the store. Uh, I'm in here so much. I smell so many fragrances that I, I can literally go from one fragrance to another without having to do many of these steps. But most people, if you don't do this every day or you're not around fragrance every day or smelling different fragrances every day, it really, it can be a challenge. I see it all the time when people come in here. I mean, they get overwhelmed after two or three fragrances or sometimes one or two. And, you know, so these are three great steps. And by the way, like everything else in life, like we all like different fragrances and they smell different to everybody. One of these three things may work better for you. So again, number one, go out, leave the area, 30 seconds, come back. Two, walk away, smell your skin, three deep breaths. Inhale, that was number two. Number three, if you have wool sweater, wool scarf. In Miami, we don't have that. That's why I'm saying this is number three because I do have some wool scarves that I wear for maybe one month during the year. If you're in a colder place, obviously you have more access to that. Wool is one of the best, actually most scientifically proven ways, 
been tested in the lab scientifically of clearing the molecules in your nose, okay? Clearing the receptors and giving you a fresh palate in your nose. If you have that, it's probably the best way actually of doing it. But the reason why I have it as number three is you're not gonna always have wool with you <laughs> wherever you are. When I'm at home, by the way, and I'm sitting in my house and I'm testing fragrances or I'm smelling fragrances, I keep my wool scarf with me and that's what I use. I just hold it up, take a couple deep breaths, boom, good to go. It's like you're starting all over again. So there you have it, busting the myth of coffee. Again, Maurice keeps it in here because this is, it's kind of like an ode to Jamaica and it's also, you know, some people, they want to they, they want to see it, especially people who have never really heard this or known this. It's maybe in their mind, it kind of tricks them to thinking it's real, but this is just a prop. That's all it is, is a prop here. And uh, anyways, I hope you guys found this useful, especially for those of you who are newer to my channel. Maybe you never see me talk about something like this because this is good, useful information, especially if you're getting into this hobby and you're gonna be smelling a lot more fragrances on a frequent basis. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.